against the leader of the economic freedom fighters, Julius Malema, and MP Mbuisen Ndlozi returns to the Ramberg Magistrates Court today. Malema and Ndlozi are accused of assaulting a police colonel at the funeral of Mamwini Madikizela Mandela back in 2018. Now, the assault was caught on CCTV and further released by lobby group Afriforum. But tracking the story for us now is ENCS Mangoba Mkunu and senior reporters Pamanda Koke. Colleagues, good to have you. Thank you so much uh, for your time. I mean, quite uh, a day to I suppose we'll be having in Spamad. I mean, what can you tell us from where you stand in terms of context regarding the story, but also what to expect from the court appearance today? Well, it seems like it's going to be a very long day today. I can tell you that inside court, my colleague Mangobam Mangoba Mkono will be keeping a close eye in there. But let me bring you some context which you've just highlighted. We are here because in 2018, at the funeral of the struggle icon Mamuini Matigizela Mandela, the state claim or the it is alleged that Mr. Malema and Dr. Ndlozi pushed or assaulted a police colonel. So that's what brought us here today. Obviously, over the years, Mr. Malema and Mr. Ndlozi, they have denied that, but we will see what happens in court today. So today is the actual start of the trial. We expect that a witness will take a stand, that police colonel will take a stand, and then this matter has been set down for two days. But let me tell you that outside court, it's where things are happening for now. It's too early. We expect proceedings to start at 9 a.m., but my colleague, Joe Komane, will show you what is happening. We are outside the court precinct here. Heavy police presence and deployment. Police have just had their normal briefing here. They've briefed each other about logistics and what they expect will happen in court today. So they are ready to take their positions. As you can see, those police vans have counted about three police inyalas out here today and a number of police vans and I can tell you that this is a joint operation between SAPS and Metropolis. So today outside court and inside court our viewers will witness a heavy police presence and deployment. So the area that you see now where I'm standing at the moment as my colleague Joe Komane will show you on my left this cordon off area is where we expect that EFF supporters who are expected to come out in numbers, they will gather here and they will be addressed by their leader, Julius Malema. As you can see there, that's the stage. It's been set for Julius Malema to address EFF supporters who are expected to come out in numbers and show support to him and Dr. Mbuisen in Klozi. So we will be bringing all of that. We'll be keeping a close eye inside court. Manoba will tell you what will be happening. Absolutely. Now, colleague, that's of course a perspective rather from outside. But I mean, inside Manoba, initially it couldn't be decided as to whether or not the media would be allowed to, of course, uh, witness those proceedings. I understand that has changed. They will be allowing media inside. What can we expect to see come that moment when, of course, both EFF uh, executive leaders will be appearing? Well, certainly, Tumelo, we do expect uh, the media to be inside court, but uh, it is a number of uh, restrictions that have been imposed in terms of what the media can and cannot do. For example, there are only three cameras that will be allowed inside court during these proceedings, and the, the rest of the broadcasters will then be able to get a pull feed of what is uh, transpiring inside court. And uh, we have also been told by the magistrate, Pun Sami, uh, in the last court appearance that uh, the live streaming of events would possibly not be allowed today, but uh, that will be allowed to record these proceedings as they unfold. But in terms of what you can expect today, we do expect uh, the EFF leader Julius Malema, as well as the uh, party MP Mbuisen in Josie, to actually plead today whether they are pleading guilty or not guilty. They have indicated previously that uh, they do not believe that uh, they are guilty of assaulting a police officer, insisting that they are simply fighting their way into the symmetry on the April 14th of April 20. 18 and saying that uh, they believe that uh, this case is simply a waste of time. So we don't expect to hear something different from them, but uh, for them to actually deny these charges. But in terms of what you can expect from the actual court proceedings, we are also expecting to hear evidence of the complainant himself, Colonel Johan Fenter, who is going to take the stand today. He, of course, he will be also uh, be called 
uh, three police officers were also part or who witnessed this incident, which was also captured on CCTV footage. So the state saying that it is quite ready to proceed with uh, the case today. They are quite adamant that they have a strong case against Julius Malema and that he has a case to answer. But the EFF leader insisting that he did not do anything and that he believes that this is simply a politically motivated case, given the fact that uh, Afri Forum has now joined in and uh, into this particular case. So we are expecting him to take the stand at 9 o'clock when the court resumes this morning. All right. I want to go back to Spamandla. You just outside the court gave us, you know, uh, an image of, you know, how the police presence definitely is expecting uh, some of the EFF supporters. But are Afro Forum members um, also expected to be in attendance today? We do expect that some of them will be here today, but obviously we expect that a large crowd will be those who are from the EFF. It will not be surprising if Afri Forum members are here, because remember, Afri Forum has an interest in this matter. They are the ones who basically got hold of that video footage and circulated or submitted that video footage of that incident. We know, as my colleague Manoba Mkunu has said, that Mr. Malema has said in the past that no one was going to stop or prevent him from going to the burial site of his political mentor, someone he holds in high regard. I mean, the struggle still what Winnie Matigizela Mandela. So we expect that some members from the Afri Forum will be here today, but we don't expect that there will be too much or there will be more than the EFF supporters. All right, then. Well, just lastly, before I let you go, then, Mangoba Mkunu, the time, just for clarity's sake, when can we expect those proceedings to commence in court? Well, Tumala, we do expect the proceedings to start at 9 a.m. this morning. As you know, this is a magistrate court. And so usually the proceedings in a magistrate court are expected to start at 9 o'clock this morning. But of course, uh, we can expect some delays due to the fact that uh, there are strict COVID-19 regulations and strict entrance, uh, people being uh, uh, checked uh, for temperatures and so forth. So these are some of the issues that may possibly uh, delay the case. But uh, according to the state, we are expecting those proceedings to start promptly at 9 o'clock this morning.